everyone my name is saksham dikshit and this is my channel pentest diaries so today i'll make another video on the same series of knowledge share and in this video itself i'll try to cover a very important topic that is what is zero day attack and how to prevent it so this is the most i can say that important topic uh, if anyone is working cyber security that person heard about this term very well and if you are not from cyber security domain even still if you are watching this video definitely i will try to make you understand zero day attack first what is a zero day attack it, uh, itself and um, how exactly we can prevent that if zero day attack happen okay so going further with that we'll just try to cover all the possibilities for it and how exactly we can like it's definitely if you are aware about it what is zero day attack you know like zero day attack is not having appropriate solution at the time when it's get released in a market but what type of controls we can place at the time to at least mitigate to some extent so that we are not in a risk we are on a safer end so going further with that so what is a zero day attack and how to prevent it that's a main common point every security professional is looking for it so zero day attack it's in a layman language i'm just giving you the idea about it a uh, zero day attack is also called as a zero day you couple of ways you can see either it's a zero or somewhere uh, in some places you can see zero hyphen day so that's both the terms are same either you can write it as a zero or you write it as a numerical you can say that uh, alpha numeric is one of the combination for it you can use it for that so zero day attack is a cyber attack that exploit previously unknown vulnerability in a software hardware or a firmware this means the software vendors or the developers is unaware about the flaws and no patch exists to fix so what it means like uh, this is the type of uh, vulnerability or i can say type of exploit which when conducted or i can say uh, happened then at the time uh, it's happened on any software it's just because of any unknown vulnerability is already present on that software on hardware or a firmware and using that vulnerability attacker is trying to exploit that so that vulnerability is not present over there itself at that time but it's already be uh, it's present over there so but it's unknown to a a vendor to get it past that that was the reason that was the reason once a zero day attack is getting identified at the time there is no patches available for that product that was the reason behind it we call it as a zero day attack this creates a window of opportunities for an attacker to exploit the vulnerabilities before anyone know about it so this will open a window or door i can say that everything for attacker to exploit that vulnerability and using that exploit maximum impact on that organization on the vendor the attacker is trying to approach so that is all about the zero day attack so if anyone ask you about it in a layman language what is zero day attack it's a type of attack which is uh, which is conducted on the basis of unknown vulnerability present on any software hardware or a firmware and the vendor is not aware about it that was the reason there is no patches available in the market that's only a reason behind it a zero day attack happened and using this vulnerability the attacker take a privilege and at that time get compromised couple of things couple of activities that attacker can conduct it just because of this uh, vulnerability present on the product so if we are talking about the characteristics of the zero day attack so that's having a characteristics also so exploitation of unknown vulnerabilities that's one of the thing which we have already talked about it rapid and the stealthy exploitation so that's also most important and the third point is a high impact so we'll just go with the five high impact first so high impact as we can understand like we don't have any appropriate patch in place we don't have any fix in place and definitely it may impact a lot like if it's a critical level vulnerability definitely it may impact a lot in couple of organizations uh the attackers can get gain a control also of an internal network and then they going further with that relator movement and going to the domain controller anything like whatever that projection of the attack whatever that uh, i can say that uh, the reach of the attack how much we can try with that possibilities anything can be get it connected with that was a bigger impact that was the reason we can consider as a characteristic is a high impact it may have a high impact over there itself rapid and stealthy exploitation i can say zero day vulnerabilities are often exploited immediately after discovery allowing attackers to breach system before security measures can be updated so like if you if an any attacker have identify any any attack over there itself as a zero day then at the time the attacker is using that attack immediately using the attack immediately so that till any vendor 
organization is came to know about that symmetry uh, that pattern then before that they tried to impact a lot to that organization that was the reason they just try get it identified that and just once they get identified they going further with their attack itself so that the time they don't want to waste a time to uh, mm, make a vendor to have a signatures to learn those things they do not want they want to make a bigger impact at the time till the vendor is aware about the signatures for it and make a counter stuff for that issue for the attack itself and exploitation of unknown vulnerabilities like if it's unknown so we are not having any solution for it that unknown vulnerability can be get exploited that's also one of the characteristics of it going further with that what makes a zero day attack a dangerous one so as with the word we can till yet whatever discussion we have did we are aware about it's a type of surprise factor like it's having a surprise factor as we like it's clear about it we are not aware about that vulnerability present in our tool and someone identify that vulnerability and that vulnerability the person is using it so it's a type of surprise for us that was the reason it's a type of it's make that um, zero day attack will be a dangerous one why it's a, it's giving a surprise factor it's having a surprise for that was the reason behind it it will impact the organization and a couple of cyber professionals are worried about how to solve those issues so that is one of the thing potential high impact that's clear about it like uh, we know like if it's a critical vulnerability definitely it's having a bigger impact so potential high impact is there itself an advanced attacker so definitely in case of advanced the context like the sophisticated attackers they can utilize a type of zero day attack and they try a bigger organization just to gain a lot of information try to retrieve the data out of that organization itself if there, there is a possibility with that zero day attack so they try all the possibility that's also coming and make it a dangerous zero day attack going further with the how to prevent it now i'm talking about how to prevent it but i'm not saying that this is the appropriate solution this is just a counter measures for the zero day attack like definitely if any zero day attack is getting connected get it identify uh, in or uh, discover get it identify or discover in a market itself and definitely at that time there is no patch available with the symmetry we can try multiple possibilities we can try okay this is also one of the thing is we are seeing it like sustainable traffic will we can block sustainable traffic it may be possibility we can we can prevent uh, our infrastructure or we can prevent our application so that's one of the thing so patch management is one of the thing we have to be patch our servers patch our devices firmware with the latest firmware up to date make sure it should be up to date itself make sure it should be get it reflected appropriately there is no outdated products you're supposed to use it if you're using it make sure that either it's a isolated environment or that environment is not having any connectivity with your primary environment primary infrastructure itself security software use definitely required appropriate antivirus anti malware uh, software to be in place so that if anything like um, attacking to the users at least you have these measures and point security level stuffs you have it in place so that by that you can prevent the users and by that that this is the initial point like i can say any attack happened to the organization couple of time like out of 100 attacks if i can say that almost 90 to 95% time the users employees will be a target for the attacker they try multiple things on the employees they are sending multiple things to the employees and once the employee click down it definitely that will give a control multiple type of things will get conducted as per the attack what type of simulation the attacker is trying to get it conducted on the employee that thing happen very easily so that's also one of the things so we have to be use a proper security software in place just because of that we can at least we prevented our endpoints instead of just um, com- make that uh, devices to be get it compromised very easily for the attacker input validation and the sanitization that's clear about it like if you are using the application make sure all that application controls it should be fulfilled with the oas top 10 should be appropriately be in place we have to follow oas top 10 oas top 20 we have to be fulfilled we once applications going live before that we have to go for proper penetration testing go with the v8 cell so that at least we know all the possibilities of the attack at least if if there is a possibility we are seeing any unsymmetry type of thing which is not relevant with our uh, ongoing demo take example if your organization is working on a uh, one of the product type of thing related to the hr and you don't require some different type of feature so in that case either you have to disable those features which you don't require it that's one of the thing you have to be take care of it so input validation is also one of the thing where you have to check each and every steps 
appropriately there is no possibility for that where any exercise or injection will be get conducted which may lead to reach to that unknown vulnerability which is already present on that software so that's also one of the thing we definitely have to use a web also so that we can prevent our applications appropriately with the web whatever the controls we can place it with the code level that's okay but things that we required the web also be in place so that we have a double level security okay so going further with that now most important is we have to educate the users also that's most important like if we are placing a firewall ips we are putting a web also in place but if we have not uh, make our employees educate we are not uh, educate our users then in that case definitely at some point of time they will do some like they will uh, any malicious activity or the thing is that they might be get trapped with the attacker so that was the reason we had to educate them we will let them know like these are the uh, these are the things and these are the potential attacks may be get connected like taking example a phishing call or any spam call or any type of unwanted links to be get it sent to the user so we will have to educate them don't click on these links so it may take your data out of that and take a control of your account so we will have to educate them uh either with a quarterly basis yearly basis or half yearly basis we just have to let them know about it these things so that at least the user are aware about it these are the potential target for the attackers stay informed so stay informed is um, uh, it's for the users also for the security professionals also if anything get introduced in a market make sure your professional should know those things so that they can make a counter measures appropriately know the signatures for it so that they can make the appropriate steps in place so that they they can prevent their organization so i will give it example i'll work for one of the organization at that time a wanna cry get it released in a market and wanna cry is um, the breakdown happen almost 2 3 days after that once i just get the information about from multiple sources so i get that information about it and then what i did like i'll just inform to my uh, chief i'm reporting to the chief over there itself i'll just report to that person like uh, uh, this is might be a potential stuff like till then uh, there are couple of stuffs over there itself but they are not given as a name in couple of forums you will you will get the illusion like these other things may happen but the thing is that they they don't have any appropriate concrete statement over it so like this is a type of exploit or zero day attack will be get it uh, um, it may be blast the whole market cyber world itself they are not telling that so at the time i'm just getting this is one of the potential type of exploit so two or two things are just i'm just seeing it continuously instead of that forum so i thought that i just have to inform my team then they're just working on it simultaneously so once after three days that thing is getting introduced in a market and zeroed everyone has come to know about the wanna cry at that time at least we have just secured almost 70 percent section of it so that was one of the thing i can say that if you are informed about the attacks appropriately on time then definitely you can prevent your organizations well going to the last section which is a remembrance one which i wanted like everyone should know about it like this is a challenging type of attack and no one can say that i can uh, prevent my organization completely but we can take a uh, couple of counter measures just to overcome those problem if zero data can impact your organization 100 percent just taking appropriate controls in place you can reduce the impact either to 40 percent 30 percent or 20 percent so it depends on what type of capability and what type of information you are getting it so threat intelligence is one of the thing which is most important for every organization you have to take a feed from multiple zones multiple organization multiple that rsa and multiple organizations are already been they are providing a feeds for such type of attack and what actually happened they have a existence in a dark web and they are giving the feeds from those zones Sandboxing is also one of the things which you have to do it like if you are seeing any unwanted type of traffic try to get it replicated in a sandboxing zone so that at least you can see the symmetry and then you can take a appropriate counter measures you can make it over there itself instead of you have to uh, you can take actions on a real production environment try to make it in a simulated environment which uh, similar type of thing you can try to do it in a sandboxing section so that at least in a later phase itself if you are getting a possible result definitely you can try to get it cloned in a production and get it done next generation security solution that's most important like we required a next generation security software especially ml ai based tools we required or appliances we required where whatever the symmetry is get identified on the basis of that a new countermeasures will be 
created by the ml at the time itself so that type of learning we have to give it to our model so that at least we can make such type of security level at the time any attack happen on the basis of the attack symmetry the counter measure will be added created by the model and we can prevent the attack so that type of thing definitely in the future as well we can see that in couple of ways we are having such type of thing to get it attacked but appropriately we don't have that much solution right on a market to prevent that completely we can detect it with multiple sources itself even using in in couple of <coughs> in couple of ways we have the solution in place we are using the ml ai we try to get it detect couple of things but to take a appropriate actions over there itself we required a maturity over there itself which might be get in next one two or three years itself we definitely have couple of tools in market where appropriate actions will be taken by the ml itself ai will take actions on the behalf of us so that we we can secure our network appropriately that we don't require a intervention of the human being ai will take the actions and accordingly try to restrict that attack anytime it have it will happen so that's all about the stuff which is want to get it covered in this video i hope you are able to understand the zero day tech this was one of the thing which i just want to make it clear i just want to um, present to you so that you have the understanding on zero day techs i hope it's clear to you now if you like this video please subscribe my channel thank you so much once again take care bye bye